did want to talk a little bit about Vosh's recent comments on the drone strike killing of this Al Qaeda leader, which just happened last night. Um, so let's tune in here to Vosh's live stream from last night where he was discussing this a little bit. I was just casually watching. And to be honest, this really took me aback. Um, maybe I shouldn't have been surprised given Vosh's, you know, predictably dog shit takes on foreign policy. Um, but again, this was beyond the pale to me. And I thought this was worth responding to. Um, so let's take a listen. Justice has been delivered. And this terrorist leader is no more. People around the world no longer need to fear the vicious and determined killer. The United States continues to demonstrate our resolve and our capacity to defend the American people against those. Okay, yeah, we, we know what he's going to say. I feel like in a pretextual sense, we have a decent justification for drone strikes in Afghanistan because, you know, the Afghanistan Gover the, 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 the government was our ally, and then we left, and they immediately lost to the Taliban. So, I, you know, I, I feel like you could do this kind of like, well, yeah, we're, you know, we don't recognize the legitimacy of Taliban rule in Afghanistan, and, you know, the, the, the embers of the government still smolder, and we support that, and blah, blah. It's not quite the same as attacking, like, a full sovereign. This stuff gets tricky. Bosh, that's semantics. I mean, it's all semantics. It's really about, like, justifications. Hell yeah, Gally. Um, can we just not do drone strikes? Um, I mean, when if it's actually the number two guy behind 9-11 and no civilians were killed, I think that's pretty okay, to be honest. I'm okay with that. That seems okay to me. Um... I just like how casually Vosh comes out against trial by jury and like extrajudicial and, and pro extrajudicial killing. It's like we don't know. He didn't have a trial. That's like the whole basis of America. But anyway, that seems all right. I wonder if there's any way to really find out the impact the drones have on like total casualties, right? Um, because obviously, like, the downsides with drones is that you can do them anywhere, everywhere, all the time, with total impunity. You don't need to commit any troops to the ground, which means that it's really easy to do drone strikes without any kind of, like, major commitment. Um, but you also don't have to put any, any boots on the ground. I just, I wonder if we didn't have drones, would we, would, would, like, if drones just didn't exist... Would our government be like, yeah, dude, we totally need like 10,000 troops in Afghanistan and Syria and Iraq. And like, would it be like in the absence of drone warfare, would we feel the need to compensate for it with traditional occupation? Or would we just leave it be and the addition of drones is only like a net negative? I don't know if there's a way. I feel like I lean towards the net negative. I, I think I think in my opinion, if it weren't for drones, government officials would just be like, you know like eh, not worth the you know but because we have drones it's actually way easier to do um you know a lot of this stuff and and, and otherwise they wouldn't go for it i i think that's just um an opinion i have drones should be treated how mines were in the 90s no nah, i don't think you can compare drones to mines mines are like a horrendously immoral anti-civilian thing drones have a relatively in terms of like types of military engagement drones are less uh um uh, uh collateral damagey all right so we gotta pause there uh this is insane truly truly insane shit and also just incredibly incredibly ignorant vosh either feigning ignorance or truly ignorant about the collateral damage wrought by drone warfare in countries such as Afghanistan. Uh, let's take a gander here at The Guardian. U.S. airstrikes killed at least 22,000 civilians since 9-11, analyst finds. And that's just airstrikes, so not necessarily all drone warfare. Uh, but let me tell you, a lot of it was drone warfare. And also, I wanted to put up this tweet from Empire Files, which I think actually really uh, accurately kind of addresses the sentiment he's saying here which is that U.S. drone strikes have killed approximately 900 children 
around 200 in Afghanistan, including the last strike that killed seven kids at once, celebrating a rare instance where only the intended target was killed, gives support to that broader criminal criminal policy. Uh, and again, I think that's so true just because like every once in fucking a hundred drone strikes, they get the right guy. Um, doesn't mean that literally thousands and thousands of people don't die as unintended consequences, even in quote unquote successful drone strikes. And let's not forget also a story which Vosh is seemingly incredibly um, ignorant to, which is the fact that Daniel Hale was recently literally sentenced to what 45 months in prison for exposing the fact that the civilian casualty rate for drones are like, what is it, nine and 10, something like that? Um, yeah, it says ahead of his sentencing this week, Hale filled. Uh, filed a 11 page handwritten letter to the court detailing the motivations behind his actions in vivid detail. Hale recalled his own experience locating targets for American drone strikes by some estimates, us drone operations abroad conducted by both the military and the CIA have killed between 9,000 and 1700 people since 2004, including as many as 2,200 children and multiple us citizens. Um, with drone warfare, sometimes nine out of 10 people killed are innocent, Hale said. Again, Daniel Hale being the heroic whistleblower who's currently in prison uh, for revealing the truth about our drone war. Again, something which apparently Vosh is entirely ignorant to, shockingly, uh, because I remember covering this on the Vanguard when Hale was imprisoned uh, for his crime of revealing the truth. Oh, a hundred percent. Look, I think Vosh must have still been drunk. Uh, if I'm giving him any benefit of the doubt, he like I think that was the title of the stream we're reacting to was like got drunk. So maybe you are just so drunk that you forgot everything that happened. Uh, I don't think so, though. That would be too generous. But it's absolutely insane. Yeah, as you said, Daniel Hill literally says you have to kill part of your conscience to do this job. He is. I mean, if you listen to him talk, there was a long period of time when he was awaiting trial that he was out. He was working as a dishwasher, right? Because he couldn't get employment anywhere else. Not that there's anything wrong with being a dishwasher, but that's just saying the dude went from having quite a cushy job to, you know, working the most like entry level working class job. I just was working as a dishwasher again, like a year ago. I'm not talking shit, um, but it's just a big jump. And then he was fired for trying to unionize. I mean, this dude, uh, uh, but when you listen to him talk, uh, he, he talks about the grief and the guilt and the unrelenting, like stress and the, you know, and just the grieving that he's constantly doing because he, you know, of what he did, the remorse he feels, the responsibility he feels uh, because of the things that he did. Who are you listening to? If not the people who are like, I did all of this shit and it devastates me and it makes it almost so it's so hard for me to live my life. I was volunteering. I, I did this because I was like, I have to, you know, clear my conscience. I will go to prison. I will do whatever happens to me. They can, you you know, that's where that's the kind of horrible shit they were making Daniel Hale do. And because he's a hero and he has a conscience, he just said, no, I'm going to put this information above my own well-being. It's just absurd that you would try and argue that we, we the information that we do have on drones is so damning. And we know that we don't even have like the half of it, guys. All the shit that we do, like in via Africa and in you know northern Africa and all the places that we're doing shady shit, Central Africa, uh, fucking crazy, guys. We're, we're killing people all the time. Ca civilians. I mean, there is no such thing as a safe drone strike. I mean, how many times do you remember when we were just in high school, Gavin, like weddings being fucking just bombed to smithereens? And and I remember, actually, if you would listen back when there was some sense on the Joe Rogan podcast, he would have Shane Smith on, who is not my favorite guy. He's a billionaire. He found advice. But even he would be there being like, Joe, listen to me. For every one of these dro uh, drone strikes that we, bought, we drop over there, we're just recruiting for ISIS. We're just recruiting for the Taliban. Because I'll tell you what, if some motherfucker dropped a bomb on my family I would, uh, and, and they were like, oh, ISIS? who's going to go kill those people he was like i would have signed right up are you kidding me every 17 year old that's had their family killed everything that they known destroyed by americans that it isn't that just recruiting for your opposition of course it is right because nobody wants to be occupied um nobody wants to be terrorized and that's exactly what we went and did to this country and as matthew hope put it we killed millions of their civilians uh at, while we incompetently tried to uh bring justice for uh, what was admittedly a tragedy nobody's trying to underplay the tragedy of 9 11 but the response that we had was just inconceivably uh evil and uh uh just uh psychotic 
Absolutely, absolutely. And again, Vosh is trying to justify our extrajudicial assassination by saying, well, this was the second in command. He was responsible for 9-11. Um, and again, of course, obviously 9-11 was a horrific tragedy. Um, but what, 3,000 people were murdered that day? Um, the U.S. airstrikes have killed at least 22,000 civilians. Again, that's just civilians that are recorded since 9-11. Uh, this article is 10 months old. So probably untold more have been killed since. Um, and again, that's a combination of U.S. drone and just regular airstrikes. Um, in addition to the millions of people killed during the actual wars themselves. So under Vash's own logic, does Al-Qaeda or some other country, do they have the right to fucking drone Joe Biden or Barack Obama? Like these people are responsible for more civilian deaths than the people behind 9-11 like, wouldn't this logic also work that way, too? Yeah. And it also says if you scroll down a little bit that the no the real number is probably way higher. So if you know The Guardian, their at least number is like the bare fucking minimum with what they can get away with publishing. Right. As many as almost 50,000 people. Guys, I wouldn't be surprised if it's actually more than that. We have rained hell on so many countries. OK, uh, this is probably just looking at like fucking Afghanistan and Iraq, maybe. But you got to remember, we've been doing fucked up shit everywhere, all over the world. OK, and admittedly, our drone strike is Middle East and Africa, mostly. Uh, it, basically, that's where it is. But still, it, it, there's a there's a lot of shady shit that they won't even tell any of us about where people are getting killed constantly. Uh, you know, dark, dark sites like it, it, it's crazy because, you know, sometimes you'll watch the Joe Rogan podcast. Right. And then they'll just be like interviewing Navy SEALs and shit. Right. And those are the people that literally just went and did extrajudicial killings like. If you want to know who's who goes and does that, that's Navy SEALs. They go out and they fucking do that shit. Or, or like special ops, right? Uh, those are the people that go out there and like maybe they find it like, and that's if you do it boots on the ground, right? Uh, and they'll like hack up some terrorist uh, with no trial or, you know, they'll be judged during execution or whatever. Uh, but I mean, we can't normalize this, guys. It, if you want to have a rule of law and all these people who pretend that they're like fucking hardcore constitutionalists too, that go out there and like support uh, us. Oh, he did 9-11. It's like, bro, we don't, know that our intelligence is dog shit okay like we can't just extrajudicially assassinate people we can we can try and put them on trial we can put them on trial and then you know but i, I mean you, there has to at least be something there you can't just go around bombing the smithereens everywhere around it trying to catch uh you know a fish it's like it, literally fishing with like uh, in the simpsons right where they just like, fuck, psh, drop the thing in there not that that's a good analogy but